Welcome to today's episode of Equal Blog Weekly Review on Trending Stories. If you're watching for the first time or a new subscriber, this is the program where we will bring you some of the significant and exciting trending stories of the weeks that cut across politics, lifestyle, and entertainment. So don't go nowhere as I bring you a light of the trending stories. I am Babawali Solomon. President Tsunubu speaks as military takes over in Gabon. Federal government mourned designer of Nigerian flag, Taiwo Akinkumi. Lagos Blue Ray Line to commence operation Monday. Sonwolu commended for prompt payment of pensions. Ekpe local government chairman organized stakeholders meeting at the Secretariat. Honorable Wale Raji revives hope in Akodoise community with new school building after devastating ocean surge. Ambody receives Eros welcome at Oluo Fish Market in Epe. Trump pleads not guilty in Georgia election fraud case. They deserve it, but Brisky reacts to arrest of gay suspects. Davido gives 2 million naira to girl who posted video of herself drinking Gary. Napoli prioritized tying up Osime to New Deal over the renewal of Syria A. Player of the Year contract. And here are the news in full. <music> President Bola Ahmed Tunubu describes the latest coup d'etat de in the African continent as a contagious autocracy taking over the country. According to Premium Times, the president expressed his readiness to work with other heads of state in the African continent to defend democracy and uphold the rule of law. This is coming after some military officers in Gabon had earlier announced takeover of the country while they closed the country's border and suspended activities in state institutions. Until we get democracy right, until we practice the right democracy, this will keep popping up. Hope we get it right in Africa someday. <music> Federal government has mourned the death of the designer of Nigeria national flag, Pa Taiwo Akinkumi, who died at the age of 84 at his family home in Ibadan after a brief illness. In a statement yesterday, Minister of Information and National Orientation, Al Haji Mohammed Idris, expressed sadness over the news of the demise of Akinkumi, a national icon, whose contribution to national unity will remain indelible. The death of Pa Akikumi came at a time Nigeria was reinventing itself for peace, development, and enduring national reconciliation. The country will miss the contributions of the deceased, especially at this time that the federal government under President Bola Ahmed Tunubu is banking on the renewed hope agenda to build on the national favor that characterized Nigeria's road to independence. This is a sad loss for a great icon like Pa Akikumi. The Lagos Blue Ray Line is to begin operation on Monday. The Lagos State Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, Lamata, has disclosed. Managing Director of Lamata, Mrs. Abimbola Akinaju, who disclosed this at a press briefing yesterday in Lagos, said Governor Babajide Sonwolu would be joining the first commercial operation at Marina Station. According to her, the governor would join the ride by 9 a.m. at Marina to kickstart the operation. On the electrified tracks, people are not to cross on it, and at the same time, passengers are not to eat or drink while on board of the train. She explained that the delay in the operation since former President Muhammadu Buhari inaugurated the Blue Line in January was as a result of some itches which had been rectified. Passengers had to pay 750 naira on a full journey, but due to the directives of the governor of a 50% reduction as a form of palliative, passengers are expected to pay 375 naira for now. This is a welcome development for the people of Lagos State. It's wonderful having a blue ray line. 
the permanent secretary minister of establishment and training mr olawale musa has commended the governor of lagos state mr babajide sonwolu for the consistent and prompt payment of pensions to public service retirees musa gave the commendation today while delivering the keynote address at the 100 and first bond certificate presentation ceremony held at Ikeja, affirming that the state government has been consistent with the payment of pensions and the governor has been working assiduously to ensure that the state attains a level where retirees get their entitlement immediately as they retire. While commending the management of the Lagos Pension Commission, for its effort in ensuring prompt payment of pensions to retirees. Musa asserted that payment of pensions would not be made in areas anymore, stating that the state government would commence pay-as-you-go program as from next year. Wow, Governor Babajide Sanwolu is actually dishing out the dividend of democracy to pensioners. This is a very good thing for the retirees in Lagos State. Honorable Princess Sura Olayemi Anima Shaun, the Executive Chairman of Ekwe Local Government, organized a stakeholders meeting at the Secretariat to discuss the administration's journey since she came to power two years ago. The meeting had in attendance dignitaries like Honorable Abiodun Tobun, a member of representatives at the Lagos State Assembly and other representatives around Ekwe community from the councillors to chiefs, security agencies, market women, youth leaders and others. She gave a speech and highlighted her achievements since she came into power two years ago. She built part of the locked up market at Ayeturo which will be given to indigents, recruited and employed more workers, even over 600 workers, at the local government. Others are roads, health centers, street lights at Salaibu, Ayetutu, and Kwakwaikwe. She made free delivery possible for the women at the General Hospital and also ensuring security of lives and property that was going out of end, amongst others. In the same vein, there was a groundbreaking of a multipurpose hall within the local government secretariat which will also house a vocational training center with the aim to empower the youth of the community. Earlier this week, in a bid to alleviate the suffering of Ekwe people, she distributed free raw food as palliatives to the people on Monday and it's bound to continue monthly. No wonder she's called Mama Ekwe. What a man can do, she's doing better. This is kudos to her, she's doing really great. Honorable Wale Raji, the esteemed member of the House of Representatives representing a federal constituency, has spearheaded a remarkable initiative to bolster education in the community. Through this effort, a block of six classrooms is being built for the UPE Primary School situated in Akodoise, Ekwe, Lagos State. The previous school had been affected by the devastating impact of the ocean surge and they drain both the students and their education. Honorable Wali Raji, who could not attend in person, was ably represented by the chairman of Lekki Local Council Development Area, Honorable Razak Kasali, and he shared that the inspiration for the project stemmed from a recent call he received regarding the challenges faced by the primary school people. Soldiers, um, um got closer to the to the old primary school that was built in Akodoise and there is immediate intervention has really approved and up, up, uplift the development of this area and I also want to thank him that we've been seeing what he has been doing in the Ekpe division, Ekpe local government, uh, Ekpe division where his constituency and uh, which is extend to his uh, would be in what be one in a queer local government and a queer constituency. Honorable Wale Raja has really given life and hope to the pupils in Akodo Ise with this um, block of six classroom to be built. This is very, very good and it will help um, revive hope of the children to get. 
quality education. Former Governor of Lagos State, Akiumi Ambode, recently received a rigorous welcome at the Oluo Fish Market in Ekpe, Lagos. Ambode left the Governor's office on May 29, 2019, but his latest reception indicates his enduring popularity as marketers trooped out to enthusiastically welcome him. In retrospect, Ambode missed out on a second term in office due to political reasons. <music> Former US President Donald Trump has pleaded not guilty in his Georgia election fraud case, waiving the right to appear in court next week. Mr. Trump is among 19 people charged with a conspiracy to overturn the US state's 2020 vote result. He turned himself in at Fulton County Jail in Atlanta last week, where he had his mugshot taken. Mr. Trump has repeatedly denied any wrongdoing, describing the case as politically motivated. In total, Mr. Trump faces 13 felony counts, including racketeering for allegedly pressurizing Georgia officials to reverse the results of the 2020 presidential election in the state. Reports added that the Delta State Police Command on Tuesday arrested 67 suspects for allegedly conducting a same-sex wedding ceremony. Taken to his Instagram page, Bob Brisky claimed that many people had requested his opinion on the Delta crossdresser's arrest. Speaking about the incident, he emphasized that they deserve to be arrested because there is an existing law prohibiting men from marrying each other in Nigeria. <laughs> like, I can't phantom this. Uh, well, uh, he knows the law. He is a crossdresser, I think, and um, the law is prohibiting same sex marriage. Hmm. God will help us. The renowned Nigerian musician David Adeleke, popularly known as Davido, has gifted two million naira to a girl who was identified as Okoli Classic on Instagram after a video of drinking Gary went viral. Tunde Ednot had posted a video of the girl on his Instagram page. The popular singer replied to Mr. Ednot's post saying, I love this, I want to send her money. Help me get her details. Thanks. Reacting, Mr. Ednot took a screenshot and posted it on his page saying, You see why we all love Davido? He has done this many times. After watching, he will laugh and say, Tunde, help me give that guy one million naira. And then he will say, No announcer more, but this particular one is two million naira in this era. I had to announce it. <laughs> uh, those of you behind the camera, please. Go and get me my own groceries now and uh, floating berries. I want to start drinking Gary now. I'm, in fact, I'm drinking Davido. <laughs> I'm drinking my own Gary. I'm drinking. So please, that money is needed. Wow. This is a very, very good um, uh, action by Davido. That's why you are loved. With less than 24 hours to the close of the summer window, Napoli have reportedly prioritized the contract renewal of Victor Osime, despite their desire to extend the contract of two key players. Napoli are negotiating a contract extension with the Nigerian striker in a bid to fend off interest from other top clubs who are following his contract situation. It was gathered that Napoli offered Osime improved wages and proposed a release clause to ensure he remains at the club beyond the summer, but an agreement between both have not been reached. Napoli, according to Napoli magazine via La Gazzetta dello Sport, will prioritize the renewal of Osime before extending the contract of 2022-2023 Serie A Player of the Year, Koicha Kwaraskelia. When you're good, you're good, I beg. For me, Osime, 
was the better player in Italy for the 2022-2023 season. Osime la hot. It has been an interesting time on today's episode of Echo Up Blog Weekly Review on Trending Stories. Thanks for joining us. Feel free to drop your comment on the stories and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, turning on your not notification bell to get our updates. And please do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms at Echo Up Blog. I am your host, Babawali Solomon. Until next time, bye.